Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Reader Teacher. My name's Scott. It's March the 1st, St. David's Day. So in this video of episode 3, series 4 of Coming Soon, I'll be previewing my most anticipated children's books releases coming out this month for March 2024. I'll be going through them in release date and alphabetical order. So if you just want to hear about a specific book, then make sure to use the timestamps in the description below. Don't forget to leave me a like hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I release a new video and all the links to the books that I mention in this video will also be in the description box below. So let's take a look at the books. First up is a book that was originally scheduled for release on the 7th of March but its publication date changed to the 29th of February after my last video. That's why The Secret of the Moonshard by Struan Murray and Vivian Toe had to be included this time around because it's an adventure like no other. In it, we meet Domino, a girl who has been raised to fear magic her entire life. Held captive in a floating laboratory by the sinister science barons, Domino's world is turned upside down when she uncovers their deceit. Escaping to the dazzling city of Absalemon, she discovers a world filled with thunder lizards and breathtaking wonders. But her freedom is short-lived as the science barons pursue her, plunging her into a war between science and magic. With the fate of the world at stake, Domino must harness her unique abilities to prevent catastrophe. And will she succeed? Thanks Puffin for the finished copy. Go back to the year 1973 in A Drop of Golden Sun by Kate Saunders out on the 7th of March. Main character Jenny finds herself thrust into the dazzling world of showbiz when she lands a lead role in a feature film, obviously based on the sound of music. And with her bags packed and dreams in tow, Jenny sets off on an adventure to France, where she joins her film family, admits the picturesque setting. But behind the glitz and glamour lies drama, as fierce and famous actors threaten to derail the entire production. It's up to Jenny and her newfound friends to navigate the twists and turns of showbiz and save the film. Can she shine bright under the spotlight and seize her moment of stardom? And this moment is bittersweet, as I say thank you to Faber for providing this stunning finished copy of Kate's final ever book. Join six-year-old Astrid Atomic in Astrid and the Space Cadets Attack of the Snailians by Alex T. Smith as she transforms from an ordinary child into a courageous space cadet every night. With her trusty crew Beryl, Professor Quackers and Zoink, Astrid blasts off aboard the spaceship Stardust to fulfil her mission, cleaning up the Milky Way. But when trouble brews and giant snailians threaten their mission, Astrid and her friends must spring into action. With book two to follow, these are intergalactic adventures you won't want to miss. Thanks Macmillan for the finished copy that's out on the 7th of March. Hop into an exciting new adventure with Crokey Hopper in Crokey Search for the Sasquatch by Matty Long. Crokey isn't your ordinary frog. His head is filled with dreams of daring escapades inspired by his TV hero, Tennessee Toad. But where can a frog find real life excitement? And when his aunt enrolls him in the Woggle Scouts, Crokey expects pinecone crafts and cookie sales, but he soon discovers there's much more in store as his scout leader takes them on a dangerous expedition to search for the elusive Sasquatch. Thanks to Oxford Children's for the finished copy. It's out on the 7th of March. Never has there been a more perfect time to empower children to take the lead and educate their grown-ups about the urgent issue of climate change and how to teach grown-ups about climate change by Patricia Daniels and Aaron Bletcher out on the 7th of March does it so well. Packed with illustrations, this book takes a positive approach to tackling the challenges our planet faces. From exploring why Earth is unique, to understanding the causes of climate change and how to spot misinformation, every page is filled with fascinating facts and practical tips. And discover more about cow burps and panda-shaped solar panels, whilst gaining essential tools to combat climate change in your daily life. Plus, you can test your grown-up's knowledge with a fun quiz at the end. Thanks What on Earth Books for the finished copy. Luna Loves Gardening by children's laureate Joseph Coelho and illustrator Fiona Lumbers, the fifth book in the Luna Loves series, brings alive the art of gardening. Out on the 7th of March, it follows Luna as she explores her local community garden, teeming with a variety of plants and vegetables. As Luna delves deeper into the garden, she uncovers the stories behind each plant, from squashes and runner beans to the callaloo her family grew in Jamaica. And guided by her grandpa and nana, she learns about the rich history and cultural significance of gardening, sowing seeds of connection to her family's heritage and the world around her. 
Thanks Anderson Press for the beautiful finished copy. Ahoy there mateys! Set sail on the 7th of March on a swashbuckling journey in Pirate Academy, New Kid on Deck by Justin Somper and Theo Scaffer, where the year is 2507, the seas have risen and piracy reigns supreme. Join Jacoby Blunt and Jasmine Peacock as they navigate the treacherous waters of the elite Pirate Academy. With classes ranging from knots to combat and teachers who are legendary pirates, every day is an adventure. But when a mysterious new student arrives, danger suddenly lurks, not only on the high seas, but within the very walls of the academy. As they face a formidable new enemy, Barracuda class must band together and put their skills to the test like never before. Thanks you clan for the finished copy. Skylar is a huge fan of K-pop, but what she didn't expect was switching bodies with her strict head teacher one day when she goes to confront her. That's because her head teacher is 71 years old. And this book is a hilarious journey filled with dancing grannies, viral videos and a school where rules go out the window. And in this Freaky Friday style story, Skylar must race against time to figure out how to swap back before it's too late. Because when the chance to meet her favourite K-pop boy band presents itself, she faces a dilemma. And will she risk being permanently stuck as an old lady for a shot at living her K-pop dream? Thanks Walker Books for the finished copy of Skylar and the K-pop Head Teacher by Luan Goldie that's out on the 7th of March. When Mia and her mum stumble upon a neglected doll's house on the side of the road in the doll's house by Tanya Rosie and Claudia Ravalli out on the 7th of March, she sees past its broken shutters and peeling paint and decides to fix it up and give it a loving home. The next morning, a little boy is looking at the doll's house on Mia's porch. Soon, more and more children arrive and they spend the long summer days playing together. And just one child does not join in and despite her best efforts to include him, he remains distant. However, when a terrible storm damages the doll's house one night, Mia discovers that kindness can come from unexpected sources and learns valuable lessons about empathy. Thanks Oxford Children's for the finished copy. In The Prisoner of Bhopal by Tim Walker, releasing on the 7th of March, Emile's dreams are shattered on his 10th birthday when he's torn from his family and forced to work for Mr Kumar and his cruel son Jalesh in their rundown printing factory. However, fate intervenes with the discovery of a secret First World War journal hidden in a trunk, revealing his inherited gift from his great-grandfather Sanjeev to read the wind. But the true purpose of their gifts remains a mystery until disaster strikes Bhopal with a poison gas leak and Emil must use his newfound abilities to save his beloved city. Thanks Anderson Press for the finished copy. Do you want to see a llama? Then come this way as our self-described llama expert takes her friend on a chase around the city in Wanna See a Llama by Simon Phillip and Ian Smith. There they discover wild and wacky animals around every corner. But are any of them really llamas? Llamas are highly sociable animals though, and where there's one, there's often many more. Readers will be shouting at the book with delight as more and more llamas gather in the background until a whole parade of partying llamas is revealed. But will the children ever find what they're actually looking for? Thanks Oxford Children's for the finished copy. Exploring the topic of death, we need to talk about death by Sarah Chavez and Annika Lalage, helps children understand what happens when we die and celebrates the diverse traditions used to honour the departed around the world. From eco-friendly burials to mummification techniques and Parisian catacombs to Hindu gods and Chinese emperors, you'll go on a journey filled with curiosity and respect for different cultures' perspectives on death. Authored by a historian and museum curator, the book offers a refreshing approach to discussing death, aiming to replace fear and shame with understanding, while sparking wonder and curiosity, as it opens a gateway for readers to appreciate the diverse traditions surrounding this profound aspect of life. Thanks Neon Squid for the finished copy that's out on the 7th of March. Behold the wonder of books. As you can see behind me, I love books, and that's because they hold incredible power and I don't think we would be who we are without them. They guide us through tough times, teach us things we didn't know, and show us that everyone is unique. And they're like friends you can always count on, and you can share them with others to make them feel happy too. So prepare to discover the power of books in Big Ideas from Literature, How Books Can Change Your World, out on the 14th of March. Through this engaging exploration, from the earliest written tales to children's literature as we know it today, Readers alike will learn more about the incredible impact of books on our lives and the world around us. Thanks the School of Life for the finished copy. 
Enter the world of Black Hole Cinema Club, Christopher Edge's latest scientifically based story hitting shelves on the 14th of March. Lucas and his friends meet at the local cinema, excited for a movie marathon packed with action, special effects and endless snacks. But their cinematic outing takes a thrilling twist, when a jet black tidal wave sweeps them up and into an extraordinary adventure. From secret hideouts to prehistoric monsters and impossible missions, they become the heroes of their own film. But as danger escalates and cliffhanger scenes intensify, they question the line between what's real and what's not. Can they save the day before the end credits roll? Thanks Nosy Crow for the finished copy. It's the night before Eid in Can You Find My Eid Presents by A.M. Dasu and Janissa Bianda and Hannah is buzzing with excitement as she helps her mum prepare for the celebration. From decorations to delicious treats, the house is filled with joy. But when it's time to gather the Eid presents for Nanny's house, there's a problem. They're missing. Join Hannah on a delightful search and find journey as she hunts for the missing gifts. With charming illustrations and a heartwarming storyline, this picture book not only captures the spirit of Eid, but also introduces young readers to its traditions. Thanks Scholastic for the finished copy that's out on the 14th of March. As the speckled hen tries to settle down for the night, in Hen in the Bed by Katrina Charman and Guillaume Carsten, she finds herself squished in a bed with nine other animals. But there's just not enough room. And as she urges everyone to roll over, roll over, sound familiar? The fun begins as they tumble out of bed one by one. Each turn of this split page story reveals a new twist in this silly noisy bedtime rhyme. But will the animals ever find a way to get some sleep? Or will the mayhem continue into the night? Thanks Nosy Crow for the finished copy. It's out on the 14th of March. Whilst her friends are all snug in their beds, Flora the Dormouse is wide awake and ready for adventure in I'm Not Sleepy by Rahat Kajuji, out on the 14th of March. She bravely explores the world outside, discovering tadpoles in ponds and bees buzzing around flowers. But when winter comes, even Flora needs to rest. So she curls up in a cosy burrow. But she doesn't realise she's only gone and fallen asleep on the back of a fox. And will the other dormice be brave enough to dare to come to Flora's rescue? Thanks Scholastic for the finished copy. When Lola rescues a rabbit in Lola and Larch Fix a Fairy Forest by Sinead O'Hart and Rachel Sego, she discovers it's actually a rebellious fairy named Larch in disguise. Now she has her very own fairy friend. And as they navigate their new friendship, they'd encounter evil Euphorbia Spurge, a wicked fairy. Spurge is determined to take Larch's magical powers for herself, putting the entire fairy forest at risk. With wits, wands and a touch of fairy flair, Lola and Larch team up on a quest to outsmart the mischievous Spurge and save the day. But will their newfound friendship be enough to defeat the wicked fairy and restore peace to the fairy forest? Thanks Nosy Crow for the finished copy that's out on the 14th of March. Meet Nina in Nina Peanut is Amazing by Sarah Bowie out on the 14th of March. She's a budding superstar who loves creating hilarious and amazing videos. But why is it only her nan and best friend Brian who watch them? And Nina wonders why her playlist about potatoes with faces doesn't attract more attention. So determined to gain the recognition she deserves, she dreams of outshining class queen bee Megan Dunn whose pampered dog Princess Trixie Belle steals the spotlight in her content. However, when Nina's stinky cat Les unexpectedly crashes one of Megan's videos and becomes a viral sensation, she's soon thrust into overnight stardom. Now she must learn the highs and lows of fame. Is it as wonderful as Nina always imagined it would be? Find out in this illustrated graphic novel story. Thanks Scholastic for the finished copy. Join Zeely and Jules in Secrets of the Snake Stone by Pew Dasgupta out on the 14th of March in which Zeely, often accused of witchcraft, has her world turned upside down when Jules discovers a mysterious locket in the Parisian sewers. Little do they know it once held the legendary snake stone, rumoured to possess unimaginable powers and clues to Zeely's missing father. But they're not alone. A dangerous, secret society is hot on their heels. As they tackle treacherous riddles, confront a cryptic circus and explore labyrinthian tunnels beneath Paris, they must race against time to unlock the secrets of the snake stone and solve a family mystery spanning continents. Thanks Nosy Crow for the finished copy. In the world of the Cloud Thief by James Nicholl, coming out on the 14th of March, Mara's village is facing a crisis. 
They desperately need rain to save their crops and animals from suffering. But in this curious land where clouds are bought and sold, Mara must do the unthinkable and resort to stealing a cloud. Wrestling with right and wrong, Mara goes on a daring and daunting journey to confront the cloud makers and their greedy trade. Along the way, she learns valuable lessons about courage and doing what's right, even when it's hard. Will she succeed in bringing rain to her village, or will her daring adventure lead to unforeseen consequences in this enchanting eco-story of courage and conscience? Thanks Chicken House for the finished copy. In the bustling streets of Vienna, young Rosa enjoys a carefree life, filled with books, games and the warmth of family. But when the shadows of Nazi occupation loom over the city in 1938, Rosa's world is shattered. As the threat to Jewish families grows, Rosa faces heart-wrenching decisions alongside her parents. Determined to protect her family, she embarks on a journey of escape, unsure of what lies ahead. With breathtaking illustrations and a story inspired by the real events of the author's mother, What Rosa Brought by Jacob Sager Weinstein and Eliza Wheeler out on the 14th of March captures the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of love in the face of adversity. This touching tale of courage, immigration and identity promises to stay with you long after the final page. Thanks Harper360 for the finished copy. Prepare to be uplifted with Why Not by CBB's presenter George Webster, collaborator Claire Taylor and best-selling illustrator Tim Budgeon. And this profoundly positive picture book radiates joy, reminding us that if we reach for the stars we can achieve anything. Through its heartwarming story and captivating illustrations, it encourages readers to embrace their dreams and take bold steps towards them. With its infectious optimism and delightful characters, this book not only inspires, but also highlights the boundless potential within each of us. So let's embark on this enchanting journey together and discover the magic of daring to dream. Because why not? Thanks Scholastic for the finished copy, out on the 14th of March. Dive into the mesmerising world of nature like never before with Inside In, X-rays of nature's hidden world. Using groundbreaking X-ray techniques, this extraordinary factual book unveils the hidden secrets of creatures and their habitats. Ever wondered what lies beneath a bee's furry coat? Or how a seahorse protects itself with its armour and skeleton? Be amazed as you discover the fascinating answers to these questions and more. With captivating x-ray images that bring nature to life, accompanied by simple yet informative text and vibrant neon colours that pop off the page, Inside In is not only educational, but also visually stunning and engaging. Big thanks Greystone Kids for the finished copy that's out on the 16th of March. Aya and the Star Chaser by Radia Haviza and Kaylee McKean out on the 21st of March immerses readers in a fairy tale that's deeply rooted in Bengali folklore and celebrates the strength and resilience of brown girls. Enter the enchanting world of Aya, whose fascination with stars takes a surprising turn when she is struck by one, granting her extraordinary powers she never imagined. But when the sinister Abnus threatens their homeland, Aya must use her power to confront the encroaching darkness and protect her loved ones. This spellbinding tale promises to transport readers to a world where courage and magic collide, and I can't wait to read it, so thanks Macmillan for the finished copy. Out on the 28th of March is Bird is Dead by Tiny Fisher and Herma Starveld, which is a tender picture book that gently navigates the difficult topic of death and grief for young readers, using playful illustrations to approach the subject with honesty and humour. When Bird suddenly passes away, his feathered friends must cope with the concept of loss and come to understand the finality of death. As they gather to bid Bird farewell, they share tears and fond memories, finding comfort in each other's company. This book promises to open the door for meaningful discussions about death, grief and the different ways people deal with loss, whilst creating a safe space for children to talk about death on their own terms. Thanks Greystone Kids for the finished copy. To end, we have a book by Tom Percival and Richard Jones, who collaborate for the first time to bring you Quiet, a heartwarming tale that proves that sometimes the smallest voice can make the biggest impact. In this beautifully illustrated story, we meet a small bird who struggles to find her voice in her noisy natural world. But when a menacing metal monster appears and is destroying the forest she calls home, she discovers the incredible power of her own quiet strength in order to save it. Through this enchanting story, Readers will be inspired by the bird's resilience and courage, learning the invaluable lesson that every voice, no matter how small, should be heard. Thanks Simon & Schuster for the finished copy that's out on the 28th of March. 
So these are the books I'm most excited about reading this month. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel below. As always, keep reading and I'll see you in the next video.